Look, you can't expect people to just know that you've launched your business and you know that you have these amazing products or this amazing services that you're offering. You need to actually tell people and that's what marketing is. This is what we're going to be discussing today. We are going to be talking about how you can market your business online before i move on do let me know in the comments how you have been marketing your business and has that been working starting off let's actually talk about what marketing is i feel like we throw around the word marketing a lot marketing is you basically matching the business's service or products to the customer's needs you need to know what your customer's problem is what problem are you solving who exactly are you solving this problem for that's why that is very important now that we spoke about what marketing is the fact that it's basically matching your services or your products to your customers needs now let's actually talk about the importance of marketing here's the thing when you're a small business no one knows that you exist so you are starting from scratch you're starting with nothing you're starting without a customer base so this is why it's very important that you are marketing your business you are showing up you're telling people what you do what you stand for what you believe in and you're getting you're actually growing your customer base because how are you planning on actually making money if you're not marketing your business now that we've spoken about what is marketing and the importance of it let's actually talk about the basics of marketing what makes up marketing which is the four p's first is starting out with the product it's important that you know what you're offering to people far too many people start businesses without really knowing what their product actually is or having far too many to be able to manage all of them what i would suggest uh when you're actually starting your business is having one main product that you're focusing on this doesn't mean that you're only supposed to be selling one product what i mean is let it be in the same industry or the same category if i can say so an example of this is please do not do not sell water bottles and also sell um shapewear as you can see these are completely different industries you don't want to do that focus on one if you're choosing to uh, to sell water bottles focus on water bottles okay because i feel i see a lot of people who try to do it all but then end up failing so before you move on to having many products just start out with one and for my service-based business owners start out with one service stop trying to offer as many services as possible it doesn't work that way have one service that you're going to be known for before you can actually think about expanding and moving on to the next thing first p of marketing is product which means get clear on what products you are selling or what services you are offering and start out with one master it then you can expand if you want the next one is price it's important that you are pricing accordingly when it comes to actually determining how to actually price your products i would suggest that if you're not really sure how to get started look through how your competitors are pricing and also understand what it is that you're actually offering to people and the type of people that you want to attract and also i am tired of seeing people who are pricing too low i understand that you are in the beginning stages of your business but you need to price accordingly or else you will not stay in business okay so please make sure that your prices are allowing you to make a profit and you can actually see that you know you're getting something out of this i had another lady that i spoke to another time she was pricing her memberships for 100 rand honestly speaking that is far too low 100 rand a month for all that value is not cutting it you need to make sure that you are pricing accordingly because you're going to get tired another thing i should say if you're not pricing accordingly you will not want to continue doing what you're doing because you are the one who's spending money continuously to keep this business running at some point you're going to get sick of it and stop because you're not making any money let's not lie we start a business to you know make the world a better place and like change the world and everything but honestly it's also to make money you don't have a business if you're not making money that's like that's the fundamental of a business you know making money making sales the third p out of the four p's of marketing is promotion this is where you need to think about how exactly or what channels you're going to be using to actually market your business how are you going to be promoting this are you using ads are you using um, social media what is it that you're going to be using in order to promote your products or services the last p of the four p's of marketing is place 
this is where you need to figure out where you're going to be selling your product how exactly you're going to be getting your products to your target audience and think about the best distribution channels that you can use in order to reach your target audience in order to get your uh, your products or your services to your target audience as well so these are the four p's of marketing now let's talk about how to actually get started the practical work of actually marketing your business what i would suggest that you actually do is to start with social media what i would suggest that you actually do is to find a social media platform that not only your clients or your uh your customers are on but you have some type of interest in it if it is that you are on youtube and you're always watching youtube videos i would suggest that you start out with youtube that's if the business that you're starting actually allows you to be on youtube but youtube is kind of broad so i don't know how it wouldn't allow you but anyway so make sure that you are on a social media platform that you like and that your clients or your customers are on because it makes it so much easier for you to reach those people pick one I'm saying this because I have your best interests in mind. Okay, I tried doing a lot of things all at the same time. It didn't work for me. So what I would suggest that you actually do is to start out with one. Find one social media platform that you want to focus on. Once you've focused on it and you've gotten whatever followers or subscribers that you've, you know, that you've needed or that could actually, you know, grow your, that can help you grow your audience. Once you've done that, you can think about moving on to your secondary pla um, social media platform that you'd be using. This could be you then now repurposing the content that you create on your main social media platform. With me, I started off with TikTok. TikTok was the social media platform which I felt like was easier for me. Um, and there was a lot of reach on TikTok. So I was like, why not start off with TikTok? So now that I've, you know, I've gotten a hold of TikTok, I've grown my audience on there. I'm now kind of moving on to YouTube as being like a main platform for me. You choose one social media platform to start off with. Learn how the social media platform actually works because you will need it. Okay. Don't try to use the same tactics and strategies that are used on one social media platform onto the other. There are some things that work on TikTok that will not work on Instagram. So please understand that. I've seen a lot of people who create static images on TikTok. That doesn't work. No one is going to engage with that. The strategies that work on one social media platform might not and most probably will not work on another social media platform. So just avoid that. Now that I've spoken to you about, you know, getting that first social media platform that you're going to be focusing on, let's talk about the content that you're going to be creating on there. Firstly, how do you come up with content ideas? This is like a big problem for a lot of people because sometimes you get creativity block where honestly you don't have any ideas. And what I always jump onto is keyword research. I use answer the public, answer so crazy, and I don't know the name, I'll put it on the screen. And then that's how I usually find, you know, content ideas. I'll put in a keyword and it will compile some of the content ideas that I can come up with. So basically keyword research is you finding out what people are asking on Google. And then what you're going to do is make sure that you are placing yourself as the solution to these, you know, these problems that they have, or you have the answers to the, uh, to the questions that they have. So now that I've spoken to you about how to come up with content ideas, let's talk about how exactly to come up with a plan on how you're going to be creating content and keeping it going firstly i want to talk to you about the klt method what is the klt method the klt method is the no like and trust method this is where you're get, you're getting your customer from not knowing you exist to becoming a loyal customer so let's talk about what goes into each of them so firstly with the k the no factor creating attraction content what is attraction content? So this is content that gets you eyeballs. So what you're doing here is basically entertainment. So things like um, things that are relatable in your industry or else just funny memes, lip syncing, that type of thing. So trending sounds also. Now moving on to the like factor. So this is where you're now creating nurturing content. So, um, you know, you've gotten people to know that you exist.
posts they've now followed you they've laughed about that joke that you were talking about now with the nurturing content so this is where you're now positioning yourself as the authority you're showing that you're an expert so when it comes to nurturing content so this is where you are sharing educational content educational content is helping someone solve a certain problem but please let me just put that out there because i made this mistake myself do not overshare do not give too much that someone doesn't even feel the need to get on a call with you because you've given them everything okay i'm not saying hold on to information don't gatekeep also but just give enough to help someone with that specific issue that they might have what i do now with my content is i create content that usually shows people that they have a problem and what they can do to solve that problem but when it comes to how they can then execute that um that thing that they want to do this is where now they would actually come um and book a call with me or get on you know a coaching package that i have by the way i've already launched my business if you want to get on a call with me you can select which service that you want because i am offering three services at the moment i am offering um a one hour consultation call for 600 rand i do offer a six month coaching program and the last service that i offer is being a speaker at an event so you can invite me to speak at your event so as i've said it's important that you are creating educational content it doesn't matter which industry you are in at some point you have to show that you know what you're doing especially if you're a coach consultant a strategist you know all of the information um businesses you need to make sure that you are teaching people something don't just create generic um you know very vague content because it doesn't show you off it doesn't show off the fact that you know what you're doing lastly let's talk about the trust factor so this is the klt so it's no like and trust so with the trust factor this is where you are now building that trust so someone has already known that you exist through the attraction uh, content that you're creating now they are uh, you've nurtured them by educating them and showing uh building your authority and showing that you are an expert now let's move on to trust this is where you're now sharing how you've been able to help other people that means sharing testimonials reviews and so on from your previous clients or customers if you don't have any previous clients or customers that's not a problem them, you can just stick to actually sharing your brand story why you do what you do and what you actually believe in and that is how to market your business online i hope this video helped you get started with your marketing but i should add is that if you're just starting your business something i need you to know is who your target audience is you need to know who you're trying to sell to i understand that when you're starting out i did this as well usually it's more about you making money so you don't really think through who exactly is going to be handing you their money and why they would be doing that so please take into consideration who you want to work with the position that they're in the type of lifestyle that they have so that you can actually come up with a product or a service that's going to be that's going to work very well for them specifically so and it's going to help you out with creating content and everything so please make sure that you know who your target audience is and please if you say that your target audience is people from the ages of 18 to 50 that whole 18 to 50 thing i'm tired of seeing it i don't want to see it anymore if you tell me that's who your target audience is we're gonna have a problem okay because no that that's too vague you know you don't know who exactly you're trying to attract when you're trying to attract everyone it doesn't work that way so just get clear on who exactly you are helping it's going to be very helpful for you right now i want you to actually go check out a video that i've posted before on how to get your first client online i was sharing my own journey how i was able to do it so that you'll be able to do it as well i know you're just starting out and even if you have gotten your first few clients maybe the ideas that I shared in that video would be very helpful for you. So please make sure to check it out right after this one.